football team. And uh, at some point in time, you know, when this football team, if, if we do, and when we do, then I think you're going to be something showing us special. Right now, I still think we're wrestling with them angels and we can't put it all together. You just got to keep on keeping on it. goes back and starts with the foundation back in 81 and the Edmund Nelsons and Dennis Kutak and Mark Dorn and Bob Harris's and all those players that hung with us too early to, to make it uh, our program what it is today. The championship team in 83 and then the championship teams in the late 80s. And, And I'm confident that uh, with the support of the Alden people, the alumni, the former players, the student body, the faculty, the administration, that we will be able to bring this great football tradition back to what it once was. And we're looking forward to this challenge with the great anticipation, a lot of enthusiasm, and realizing fully that it is uh, it's going to take a lot of hard work and uh, Probably a lot of patience on your part and our part, but uh, we will get the job done in the end. guts on the line and you come away empty-handed. Ain't a damn thing you can do about it but go back and lay them on the line again. And again and again. And coach, manager, glad to be associated with you. You'll keep fighting like you did today. You'll keep playing like that. Build a foundation that we can live a long, long time on it all. Greatest coach in the game's ever known. Don't think there's any question about it. And if anybody's gonna have that record, it's certainly he's the one that deserves it. I'll see. You. I'm proud for you. Proud of anything. Oh, I'm proud of you. You know, hell of a job this year. Real yeah. great job. Thank you. Real good. Thank you. You know, we got beat by a real good football team, and. We did some we did some things to help them and you can't you can't do that against a good football team. And then, you know, the the saddest part about the whole game was what we played coming down the stretch in the fourth quarter. Uh, I can't ever recall a football team of ours not playing harder than we tried to play out there in the fourth quarter. And uh, 
it's something we'll have to live with. And I just, uh, I hate it mighty bad for you. We hadn't done a better job of training you and getting you ready. Maybe the course of the season was taking so much out of you that, that uh, but that, there again, that's, uh, that's something we'll have to live with. for you to do is I'd like for you, the ones that want to, I'm going to go back out there and thank our people. how you handle the bad ones that determine where you're going to be a champion or a chump. And flanked to the right is Buford. Campbell pitches the ball on a sweep to the short side. He broke the tackle. He's the 45 to 40. Jackson looks for running room. Hit from behind. Got away. At the 25. He's in a foot race at the 20. To the 15. To the 10. Touchdown Auburn! Wide out. Pitching to Bo Jackson. Down the little hole. 35. Broke the tackle. 30. 35. The 40. Midfield. Foot race. Down the sideline. 30. 20. Bo's going to go. This football team is hungry. Uh, it's made up of a group of seniors that, that uh, had a lot of faith in me and our staff when the transition was made several years ago. Sugar Bowl! 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 But it was a difficult schedule. We knew it was difficult going in. And we started last spring and preparing for the schedule that we had from a mental standpoint and getting the kid ready to play it. I really don't think that our football team was on an emotional high but three times during the year. I think we were on an emotional high when we played Tennessee and Knoxville coming off a Texas loss. I think we were emotionally high for Florida and Georgia. I don't think we were uh, emotionally high for Alabama and that was kind of unusual but uh, I don't think we were but they played well enough to win all year long.
You're going to be in a lot of tough battles next year, year after year after year. Individual battles with yourself. You won't have teammates with you. But if you just look back and think about that January the 2nd night in New Orleans, gain a little strength from it, it'll hit you down the road. On behalf of the Sugar Bowl, I'm only the president. We're presenting you all with the trophy of champion of the Sugar Bowl 1984. <laughs> and he's loose. They'll never get him. You young ones coming back. <coughs> My plan for you, and I've thought a great deal about it, is we're going to start in January, and we're going to, we're going to build, we're going to build us a football team. I'm going to ask all of you to, to help us and, and believe in us, have faith in us, just like those guys that came four years ago. Because we're going we're gonna to put the program back up there where it's, where it's been. Going to pitch to Jesse, and he's going to give it to Tillman on the end around the 10, the 5. Tillman, he's in! Touchdown, Auburn! <laughs> Touchdown, Auburn! Mario Tillman on the end around reverse! 32 seconds left. Auburn is going to hit 20 to 17. Jesse to their own 42 yard line. He is back and held and hit hard. for the football team because you never know how a team is going to turn out until you play the season and play the schedule and uh, I knew that we had a very very difficult schedule starting out and ending. Florida, Georgia, and Alabama in the Southeastern Conference every year to end our conference schedule. And uh, we've only beaten those three in the same year one time, and that was in 83.
I'm, I'm, I'm so happy for you to win it outright. And, and where we only got one champion in the, in the conference, you are the champion of the best football conference in America. Hey! I told a squad in August, and of course we started in January, and you build a team over four or five years, you don't do it in, in one year, but that uh, I knew it was going to be very difficult to repeat as conference champions, and I knew that we had the toughest schedule in the conference of any of the teams that really had a chance to win the conference. But I, I also knew that that could be in our favor if we, if we were good enough, and we were good enough. We didn't win in Baton Rouge, which is it's certainly going to always stick out in our minds as a very disappointing loss. We didn't get outplayed, didn't get outfought, but we didn't win. <clears throat> and um, the, but the the players gave us tremendous leadership. Our seniors and it's been a very fun football team to coach, and and uh, been the easiest team to get ready to play from week to week that I've ever had. I can't tell you a, a fulfilling year for me. Rock, I'm, I am so happy. Where you at? You don't, know, you don't know how much it meant to me tonight for you to go out there and play in this football game. And, uh, well, lawyer, lawyer, I'm mighty, I'm, I'm mighty happy for you. I'm talking about coming back and, and making the big plays when we when we needed some big plays today and I know it's been a frustrating year for you. But you didn't leave any you didn't leave any question in anybody's mind in America or in the stadium tonight. But you are a, a thoroughbred guy that's gonna play in the big games when the chips are down and, and make it happen. And Reggie, the pressure that the pressure to come into this football game for the first time. And the, and, the, and the courage and the, and, and the things that you just played out there tonight mean a lot to everybody in this room. Every one of you. Every one of you. I don't care whether you took a snap or you didn't take a snap. Your, your heart and your soul and your spirit is important. It's important in this, to this football team and to this game that you came here to play today. Right over the middle. Wide open is 28. 
Pedro Cherry broke the tackle. Touchdown, Auburn. They trail seven to three. Black's got one set back and four wide receivers. Desperation play. Black's going to throw in the end zone. Got a man wide open. Wide open. He's got it. Touchdown, Auburn. Touchdown, Auburn. Touchdown, Auburn. Do you remember me standing right here and telling you when you became one that you'd know it? Then you know it, man. It don't make any difference who's carrying the ball. It don't make any difference who's catching it, who's rushing the pass, or who's making the tackle. As long as you've got a blue jersey on. Here comes everybody. Slack gets rid of it. Isolated in the end zone. Touchdown, Graham Taylor. So, you know, I, and and uh, I watch a football team play, and you know, I don't think we. You, you're not going to have the tempo that we have against Florida State or, or, or Tennessee. Every week, it's week in, week out. I mean, you got You can't. It's just impossible to do it. I don't care. There's not a football coach that's ever lived that could get that. The thing that we try to do is to have our level of play at such a uh, standard every week that that, uh, it, that you know that it's going to be good enough to win, and then hopefully and get to those big games that we can elevate them. First of all, I want to make a presentation. I want to present Coach Dow with the game ball. Yeah! Yeah, That's what our program's all about. I want you to I want you to think about it and let it sink in deep. This is the reason we work in the summertime in January and February in the spring. This is the reason we push you beyond what you think you can do to experience moments like this. Ain't no easy way in life. And it wasn't easy out there in the night, but you were prepared for the task at hand. Every one of you players, I mean, ain't no way, ain't no way, for, I, ain't, I ain't smart enough to tell you how I feel about you. I mean, and, and because, I mean, it's family, every one of you. I mean, you know it. Sure, I'd like to be 12, 11 and old and, you know, not, but I'm gonna tell you something. I wouldn't swamp this year for any year that I've been at Auburn. I wouldn't swap it, men, because I've watched you struggle and I watched you wrestle with them angels and 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 and, and I, but I watched you grow up and become men. I watched you become men. Time, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Credit to them folks in the other dressing room over there. We, we, you know, they fought hard throughout the football game, and but uh, I also give you a lot of credit. At, uh, at the end, when you had to, when you had to do, you did what you had to do in the end to to win the football game. I'm just going to tell you flat out, men, uh, if you wear that blue jersey and you play for me, there ain't going to be no quit in you. We, get, we, won't, we won't win every battle, individually or as a team, maybe, but we ain't never going to quit. Today we made things happen on offense. We made things happen in the kicking game. And, and we made things happen on defense. So that's, that's being a complete football team and that's everybody contributing. And, and as a result of it, um, you know, it was, a, it was a convincing win for you. One, I mean, which it should have been. And uh, <coughs> we want to take it and use it and, and, uh, and, and learn from it. But the big thing is, is men, let's be a better football team next week.
on, from a selfish standpoint, uh, there's no way for me to <coughs> describe what this football game means to me personally. And, uh, you know, I want to thank you for that. And our coaching staff, we've taken a lot of abuse the last three, three years just like you have. And uh, it's, uh, it's a mighty satisfying win. Now, what you did tonight, man, you, you set the, you know, you set the stage for you to do what you want to do. I'm mighty proud of every one of you in here. Mm -hmm. Coaches, managers, trainers, players, uh, everybody that's been connected with this football team. And um, tonight was, as you know, it, 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 could be, it could be what we consider long overdue. But I think you, you, what you saw tonight was the power of togetherness. And you know, we, we kind of shook there a little bit in the second half. But you know, when you got that, that unity, you know, it doesn't bother you near as much. You know, as long as we're fighting, as long as we're scratching and clawing, I got, I got no problem with that. I mean, that's, that's, that's a part of football. And we can correct those things on, but we, you know, what, what was, I was interested in was, you know, what's in our hearts. How you feel about one another and, and how excited you are about uh, this football team and being a part of it and the challenge and the opportunity that we got when we go to Birmingham. From the 25, great protection, throws to his other tight end, and Victor Hall will take it all the way down, and he will score. What happened today is, you know, is basically what I said would happen Monday. Is that if we didn't, if we didn't get that circle completely closed, and I didn't think we could be, because that crowd out there, I think that you, if you're standing from my sideline, you know, they're together. They, they're tied together the kicking game, the offense, and the defense. It's very obvious. And they weren't, they didn't get discouraged when they got behind. They just kept on plugging and, and, uh, and that's what we're trying to get. We're trying to get what they got in the other dressing room. Not, you know, not, not to win, but just the oneness and togetherness. And I think if we can ever get that, then we're going to be a better football team. I think that under the circumstances, uh, you know, probably couldn't have been better. It couldn't have been better because you had to come from behind. Uh, we, we learned a lesson about not putting somebody away when you got a chance to. There's going to be so many areas in this football game when we can look at it, when we look at it, that we can improve and get better and, and, and learn from it. And, and learning from a win like this, man, is a hell of a lot more fun than learning when, if, we'd, if the game would have ended up 28-27. It's been a great 12 years. Enjoy your hunting. Yeah, thank you very much. And, uh, you know, I hate, I hate for it to go out like this, but... I don't guess when you get out of it, you've been in as long as I have. I've been playing or coaching since 1952, and I, um, I guess you're never ready, but it's got to, it's got to end sometime. Good luck to you in the future, Coach. Thank you very much. Have a good one.